guys, how y'all doing? It's Vader Bethany here. And today we're going to play more Wario Date. But this time, we're going to actually do the money route. And just try to make as much money as possible. Wario's House Mushroom Kingdom. You find yourself on this. One rotten day of the many rotten days that compose your life. Sitting atop your throne of garlic and enjoying a little TV as you think about all the ways you could ruin lives today. <laughs> and practicing your pattern stinky laugh. You take a break to throw a clove or two into your maw. But before the sound of your cheering drowns out the universe, a, a particularly appealing line or two catches your ear from the TV. <coughs> is, is this really for me? <coughs> of course, darling. All for you. But, it must have been so expensive. There's no way I could accept this. <coughs> it was. My entire life's savings. But you're worth more than all the money in the world. There's nothing I wouldn't give for you. <coughs> nothing? <coughs> nothing. You give me all the money in the world? <coughs> yes. All of it. <coughs> all for me? <coughs> yes. <coughs> all because you love me so much? <coughs> I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please marry me. <coughs> oh, of course! Of course! <laughs> of course I'd marry you. You love me enough to truly give me all the money I could ever desire! <laughs> you farted. <laughs> I've got it. Love. There's no force more powerful in the world than love. Sounds like the perfect way to scam some chumps out of their money. It's perfect. Nobody will see it coming. Oh, how I love being evil. There are some things you should know before playing. You always have the option of prioritizing two things. Love and money. Making people fall for you is a great way to make money. But it also has its costs. Lose sight of the gold and you'll end up broke. But on the other hand, if you'd rather give up riches for a life with your sweetheart, that's also an option. If you decide to risk it all in love, then keep in mind that your heart may get broken. At almost any point in the game, you'll have the option of leaving the conversation and returning home. If you do this, you'll take all your money with you, but you won't be able to contact them again. Your wallet and your heart are both very fragile. Please treat them with care. Now, let your destiny unfold! You hop off your garlic pile and waddle over to the telephone. Now let's see. Who should I scam? We got a cool Bowser, King of the Koopas. He has a castle and a big kingdom, and he's probably got loads of money. So, pulling Bowser is a good idea. Maybe he'll help me out. He owes me after that tennis incident, anyways. Bill 
Bowser's is castle. Hey, my director call. I'd like to speak with Bowser. Do you have an appointment with his surliness? Yeah. Of course. May I have your name? <coughs> Sir? <coughs> uh, er, no. I actually don't. <coughs> I can certainly schedule one, but I don't need your name, sir. Uh, Princess Peach? Oh, Princess! I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Uh, -uh. uh no problem. I'm sure it's less funness to be thrilled to hear you called. When can I set up your appointment? Uh, actually, it'd be better to see him now. Uh, -uh. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. If it's you, Princess Peach, his neediness would certainly want to see you as soon as possible. So, uh, where is he? He's just outside your castle, actually. you find him in the bushes somewhere. <laughs> Excellent! You hang up the phone. Now that you know where Bowser is, all you gotta do is come up with a plan. Uh, whatever. You'll think of something when you get there. Outside Princess Peach's castle. Hmm. Now all I gotta do is find him. You squint your eyes and look around. The aggressive woman on the phone said that he should be hiding in a bush somewhere. Yeah Aha! There he is! You spot Bowser standing behind a bush. Well, he's in front of the bush from where you're standing. You can't really see what he's doing. Just standing there. Yeah. Hey! You! Bowser! Bowser turns around to face you. His girth is supreme. No matter how many times you see him, you can't help but feel a little inferior whenever he stands over you like this. I'm busy. What do you want, Wario? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. How to seduce Bowser. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, just... Watching for the princess. Do you... Need something? Or something? I just wanted to ask you something. What? What a piece of this. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Oh man, I still, I have, n I don't think, you know, I don't know what this option leads to. I'm going to regret it, probably. Am I going to regret it? I'm not trying to get with Bowser, honestly. So, maybe I should just stay focused. <laughs> we should work together. <laughs> Why? What's in it for me? You'll have me! Yeah, baby! <laughs> I don't want you! Err... Well... How about the princess? <laughs> how are you gonna get me the princess? Yeah. Come on, let's head back to your castle. We can talk kidnapping there. Wahoo! Don't want anyone snooping, right? <laughs> That's true. Excellent. Let's go. This had better be good. You successfully convinced Bowser to bring you home with him. Many opportunities should wait for you there, both to make money and to steal his heart. However, it seems as though your relationship so far is based around his obsession with Princess Peach. If you truly want to make him yours, you'll have to do something about that eventually. He also doesn't seem to think too much of you yet. Try giving him more of what he wants. You'll have your turn to make your demands. Good luck!
You've arrived! Bowser leads you into his conference room, sitting behind a very tidy looking desk. You never pegged Bowser for such a neat freak. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Coffee's good. Our coffee is imported from the finest in Sarasa land. You have good taste, Wario. Please bring our guests some coffee, Clarence. Right away, you thirstiness. Let's get right down to a Wario. I've been at this princess nabbing game longer than you've been alive. You're gonna need something that's really gonna blow me out of the water if you wanna be in this operation. What you got for me? First micro games. Okay. Second endless pits. I'm following you so far. Finally money. That probably shouldn't have I probably shouldn't have clicked that, but whatever. So what do you think? I have to live with you, Wario. None of it really stands out to me as anything I could have done on my own or have already tried. <laughs> and I've worked with you in the past. It hasn't worked out before. Why would it now? Uh-oh. I gotta really sell myself here. Uh-uh. Uh, er, er, I'll get rid of Mario? <laughs> You're hired! Bowser claps you on both shoulders happily, speaking very highly of the privilege it is to work with you. He rushes you out of the castle to do your work. You aren't allowed to come back until you've taken care of it. But it seems like it's your ticket to Bowser's inner circle. What will you do? We're gonna go kill Mario. Oh. Whoops. I guess I won't be able to go kill Mario. You already had your chance with Mario. You don't really want to try to find him again. I don't really want to start a whole new save file. I guess I should have I guess I should have done Bowser earlier. Okay. We'll just fake Mario's death. You're better off just faking his death instead. Maybe if you didn't go for Mario before Bowser, that'd be easier. Well, I'm th fine game. Thanks for rubbing it in my face. <coughs> hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I've got it. I'll just set up a fake corpse and take pictures. He'll never know the difference. You're gonna want to really blow Bowser away with this. <coughs> what should I use for the head? <coughs> what about the body? <laughs> I still think it's funny. Waluigi's favorite chew, favorite chew toy. <laughs> that is still funny to me. Um, what did I use last time? Was it a bag of lard or was it the motorcycle wheel? I think I went with a ba bag of lard and I'll do that again. What about for the limbs? Sausage. <laughs> Perfect. Now how do I make them look nice and dead? Hmm. <laughs> it's perfect. What will you do? It's not gonna let me kill Mario. I want to go kill. I, I honestly really don't want to kill Mario, but it would be more interesting, is all. And it's not gonna let me. Yeah. You already had your chance to use Mario. Better just bring this to Bowser. Okay, fine, whatever. You return to Bowser's conference room. <coughs> oh, Bowser! I have something for you. He opens the door to let you in. Did you do it? Did you do it? <coughs> you betcha. <coughs> show me, show me! You pull out the photos you took. <coughs> Here you are! Whoa! I can't believe you actually did it! This is awesome! Alright, Wario! You're in! Oh, yeah! Wario! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> to celebrate, allow me to invite you to dinner tonight! 
We can discuss our next move over some of the finest cuisine you've ever tasted, imported directly from Lapland. You did it! You're in Bowser's trust. Now you're officially partners! On top of that, Bowser's invite you to dinner! This is a perfect chance to butter him up some more. You're so close to his money that you can taste it. Later that night. You enter the dining hall to find that a table has been set up for you and Bowser. Bowser sitting at one end of the surprisingly small table. Much too small for this huge hall. Did he bring in a smaller one just for y the two of you? Oh well, all the better to intimidate with anyways. You walk towards your seat as Bowser smiles and welcomes you. Time to put on the moves. <laughs> So good to see my guest of honor. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you know, Wario, <laughs> I didn't exactly expect you to pull that off. <laughs> I guess all you need was someone to give you a chance. And for, you know, <laughs> then going out to be a victory at some sports competition. You managed to sneak a fork under the table. You really outdid yourself. All of us, really. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> With him out of the way, it'll be a cinch to get the princess all for myself. Still about the princess. Hmm. What's the deal with her anyways? What? What do you mean? Why do you want to kidnap her so bad? What's the appeal? Oh, well, uh... Basil looks embarrassed. Yeah. Do you want her money? <laughs> what? No, I have plenty of money. The waiter brings in the appetizer. Basil looks down, absentmindedly poking his food with his fork. <laughs> you only take a few bites and then look back at Bowser. Bowser looks at you, sadness in his eyes. <laughs> you should really talk about this. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it's complicated. You take it right in front of him. He doesn't say anything, but he definitely saw. <laughs> he doesn't look pleased. Everybody loves the princess. I guess I just... <coughs> thought that maybe I could get everyone to love me too if she liked me. <coughs> Lots of people love you. <coughs> like who? <coughs> you love you. <coughs> I don't know about that. Bowser sighs. <coughs> I'm sorry. This isn't much of a strategy meeting. I'm not very hungry. Shall we continue this in my chambers? Bowser's room. This may be your only chance to be in there. You have to decide how to use this opportunity wisely. Bowser's bedroom. Please, have a seat on my bed. You do it. Bowser seems pleased. He sits in an armchair across from you. So anyways, about Princess Peach... Are you still gonna go through with it? Well, yeah. Ah. Maybe you should take a break from her. A break, huh? <coughs> I don't know, Wario. This is all I have, you know. <coughs> what am I if I'm not a princess kidnapping monster? What else is there for me? Ah. Your kingdom. You got your own castle. You're a king. <laughs> You're way above her league. <laughs> You're just saying that. <laughs> but I mean, does anyone even like me? <laughs> I've spent my whole life making them fear me. Respect me. It's too late to go back on that choice. I... <laughs> my kingdom, my minions, my power. That's all I have right now. 
I have spent 28 years with this hole in my heart. <coughs> and this is the only way I know how to fill it. I could fill that hole. What do you mean? What I mean is, why do you need the princess? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Big, stinky, rich fish. What I'm saying is, I can be your princess. You? My princess? Yeah. You'd really do that? You want to be with me? Yes. We can roll together, Bowser. We can make yours the greatest kingdom that has ever existed. Wario, I... Yes. Yes, I'd like that. Me too. There's a moment of silence. Alright, I know how this looks like it's going, but trust me, I know what I'm doing, and this still is the money route, so... Don't, don't click off right now, I, I, I swear this is going somewhere, okay? Bowser gazes into your eyes. You gaze back. His eyes shut. He puckers his lips out. And he slowly moves in towards you. As he draws close, you open your jaw and chomp down on his snout. He recoils in pain, allowing you to reach down and grab his wallet. You make a run for it as soon as you can, but Bowser isn't stopping you. He lays on the ground, hand on his face, tears welling up in his eyes. But... Wario! I... His voice cracks and he bursts into sobs alone in his room. I love you! Goodbye. You prance out of his room, gold in tow. Down the hall, you skip, coins rattling in your pockets as all the minions stare at you. They knew they know whose heart you've broken. They won't ever forgive you for playing with their king's heart. Remember that as you find your way back to your home. Back to toy with the emotions of everyone you meet. You jerk. Goodbye. Goodbye.